Your grow report starting out with the drought monitor put out every Thursday by UNL. That's the headquarters. A little more drought in Kansas, 78 and a half percent of the sunflower state still no drought, but there is 21 and a half percent abnormally dry, kind of that northeast eastern part of the state, 15 percent moderate, nine and three quarter percent severe, five and a half percent extreme, and then an exceptional area west of Kansas City is 0.38 of one percent. Nebraska, the drought has returned abnormally dry, 0.17 percent of one percent point one seven of one percent that's a proper way to say it otherwise pretty much drought free across the corn husker state well the one month outlook just out from the climate prediction center showing normal precipitation across nebraska and above normal for southwest kansas and that is for the month of October. As far as temperatures are concerned, below normal for the eastern half of both Nebraska and Kansas. Normal temperatures expected in the western half of both states. In fact, there's a band of about 10 degrees below normal for extreme eastern Nebraska, northeast Kansas. Precip for the winter months, and we are currently looking at October, November, December. In this outlook, normal precip for Nebraska, above normal for the western half almost of Kansas as far as temperatures are concerned, about five degrees above normal for most of Nebraska and Kansas. It's a western part of both states that will see temperatures in October, November, December, about 10 degrees above normal. So we'll see how that holds up. Our forecast kind of strange this week, a cool day tomorrow, almost like summer on Tuesday and Wednesday. Another cold front comes through, maybe some showers, even isolated storms in the forecast. Temperatures will vary considerably, but overall pretty nice week ahead of us. Normal high 72, we're going to average 73. Normal lows 46, we'll average 52. It's coming up this Wednesday. This is a postponement from September at 118. Most cell phones will get a text that says this is a test of the National Wireless Emergency Alert System. No action is needed at 120. Local broadcast stations will do an EAS test. Here is your proverb, when it freezes and snows in October, January will bring mild weather, but if it is thundering and heat lightning, the winter will resemble April in temper. We'll see how that prediction goes. That is your Grow Report for this week. Join us again next week as we watch things grow. We love seeing your photos, especially your harvest photos, so keep them coming. Go to Nebraska.tv and click on Chime In. Here at Exarbon, they're building leaders in the beef industry. More on that when Grow continues.